Well, hey, what's up guys? My name is Ed and welcome to the channel. Listen, if you like the idea of getting cash back, traveling for free, budgeting well, and maximizing your credit cards, this channel is for you. And today I got a good one. I wanna talk about how you can get 12 free nights in Hawaii. That's right, 12 nights in a hotel, completely free for you in Hawaii. Hawaii, and it is all centered around the Chase Sapphire Preferred in their 100,000 point bonus that they have going on right now. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you wanna learn how you can do that, keep watching. But also before we go any further, hit the like button. Also hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you can stay up to date about all upcoming videos. Let's go. All right, well recently I made a video about how my wife and I took a trip to Hawaii. Honestly, it was the trip of a lifetime and we had an absolute blast. Uh, we stayed there I think for nine nights and you can go back and watch the whole video. I talk about what we did and how we got there using a few different cards. But today I wanna talk about how you can get there, how you can make that trip to Hawaii happen and you can make it happen sooner than you think and it's all around the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And right now, as of the making of this video, this is August of 2021, they are in the middle of their biggest sign-up bonus ever, 100,000 points. And so that's what this whole video is gonna be centered around. And so I wanna start off, who is eligible for this card? So if you do a little bit of digging around on the internet, you'll find some data points on Reddit and some credit card blogs. Typically, it's believed that you would have at minimum a score of 640, but if you're around the 700 mark, that's a great place to be if you're gonna be applying for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Of course, you wanna make sure that your credit's clean, you know, you're not carrying a lot of debt, you don't have a lot of uh, marks on your record. Uh, so if you're looking pretty that way, then you're set up for success to potentially go and apply for this card. There are a few other roles that you have to keep in mind if you're gonna be applying for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Of course, this card is subject to the Chase 524 role. If you're not familiar with that, that just means that Chase will automatically deny you if you have five or more hard pulls on your credit score within the last 24 months. And so this is an unwritten rule. Chase doesn't come right out and put this on their website or anything, but there are tons and tons of data points from people on Reddit, uh, and myself included, who know that this is a rule in effect. So of course, you have to be under 524. Uh, you can't have had that a Chase Sapphire card in the past and received a bonus or if you have, that has to be longer than 48 months ago, or you had a Chase Sapphire card and you did not receive a bonus. So a, a few different things there, but for the most part, unless you're really new into building credit uh, or maybe have some marks on your record, most people are gonna be in a good place to qualify for this offer. In fact, right now in the description of this video, I will leave my referral link. That is a great way to support the channel. If you're interested in this bonus right now, run to it, don't walk, because we have no idea when this bonus is going away. And it's a huge way to support the channel by using my referral link in the in below. I'd appreciate that, so click on that. But let's talk about the details of this bonus. So again, as of today, August 1st, 2021, the bonus is 100 thousand points and if you go to their website you know, if you just google it you can see it's their chase sapphire preferred a hundred thousand bonus points after four thousand in spend in the first three months uh, pretty pretty standard they haven't changed any of their bonuses but it's a pretty standard offering as far as the requirements for the bonus throughout 2021 they started at sixty thousand and went to an eighty thousand bonus and I think that was in May. And then in June, they went to this 100,000 bonus offer. So it was live in June, it was live in July. And a lot of people thought in August it would be going away, but it's August 1st and it's still there. So we don't know when it's gonna go away, but uh, it's here right now and that's all that matters. And so if you've been considering it, literally pause this video and use my link below and go sign up right now. Uh, but while all this is happening, none of the perks of this card have really changed. Two points on dining, uh, two points on travel. Your points, if you redeem them within the Chase Travel Portal, are worth 25% more. They have the Chase Pay Yourself Back feature, which is 
Really an incredible perk. I'm going to talk about that more in a second. Uh, some DoorDash things, Peloton membership, uh, not a full thing, $60 back, uh, five points on lift rides, and of course a $95 annual fee. This is the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Um, honestly, this is a phenomenal card. Uh, it's one of my go-to cards. It's in my wallet at all times. It's just kind of my standard card. If I have a purchase that I'm not sure what to put on, right now that is my go-to card. And this bonus, being 100,000 points, is the best bonus they've ever offered. To me, this is the best bonus in the entire credit, car credit card landscape right now. Uh, and so, what are you waiting for? I mean, if you're eligible for this, I think it's a no-brainer to go after the Chase Sapphire Preferred right now. So one question that we definitely need to answer is how much are Chase points actually worth? Specifically, how much are 100,000 Chase points worth? And we got a really simple way to answer that. I just mentioned that Chase Pay Yourself Back feature. This gives you 25% boost or, or bump in value that Chase is valuing their own points. And so a really good way, and they, they put this right on their website, that 100 points equals $1.25. So I know that might not seem like a lot to you, but that's really good value. 100 points equals $1.25. Or what that also means is 100,000 points equals $1,250. And so with the Chase Pay Yourself Back feature, you could go spend $1,250 on anything. You could use this feature to use these points to pay off those expenses. So if you want to use that $1,250 on a Disney vacation, you can. Just use your Chase Sapphire Preferred and use the Chase Pay Yourself Back feature. If you want to use it on a round trip ticket to Europe, great. If you want to use it to buy a new appliance for your house, whatever. This is an incredible perk that Chase has been offering. We're not sure if the pay yourself back thing is going to last forever, but it's there now. It's on the sign up page for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And so this is an incredible way to just show at minimum what is the value of 100,000 Chase points. But I do say at minimum because there are ways to get more value. And I want to tell you about one. I want to talk to you about how you can get 12 free nights in Hawaii that I'm valuing at over $1,600 in value. And so let's get into it. Here is how I figured out how to do this. I'm looking at Hyatt Place Waikiki Beach, all right? This is a three-star Hyatt. It is 4.2 rated on Google with over 2,000 reviews. It's 4.5 rated on TripAdvisor with over 4,800 reviews. Uh, TripAdvisor has this as a traveler's choice hotel in 2021. This is no joke of a hotel, guys, all right? This is in Waikiki, right? The, the happening spot you know, in Honolulu on the island of Oahu. I mean, this is a phenomenal hotel. It's a Hyatt branded hotel. And so for this redemption, if you were to go on their website and just kind of look up their base room, see how much their base room costs. I'm looking at a king bed with a city view. Uh, so yes, this isn't an ocean view. It's a suite, but this is typically what you get in the point redemption game, right? You're not going to, you can get a suite, you can redeem for a suite, but it might not really be worth the return of using your points for that. But Let's not get greedy here, guys. Like, this is going to get you in freaking Hawaii. I mean, this is incredible. So, if you want 12 free nights, let's look at this. This room, if you were just paying out of pocket, would cost $229. If you're a Hyatt member, which is free, okay, make a Hyatt account, it is free. You can drop that down to $202 a night. That's the number we're going to be using. And so if you were to convert this over to points, that same room, that same hotel room for $202 a night is worth 12,000 Hyatt points, all right? Now you're like, well, I don't have Hyatt points, I have Chase points. Well, that's the beautiful thing. Chase has a ton of different travel partners within the airline industry and the hotel industry. And I can make the case that their best transfer partner is Hyatt because you can transfer your points one-to-one -one from Chase to Hyatt. And so you take those 100,000 points, you transfer them over to Hyatt, now you have 100,000 Hyatt points. And so for this room, 12,000 points a night, if you're already doing the math, this can get you eight nights, totaling 96,000 points, eight nights using your points to get you eight nights in Hawaii for free.
it's pretty incredible. Now, there are a few other hotel details that you have to take into account. If you go on Hyatt Place, Waikiki Beach, you can find all these details about the hotel yourself. There is a $25 plus taxed daily resort fee. Uh, you can't really get around these resort fees. Almost all the hotels in Hawaii have them, so it just kind of is what it is. Uh, this one happens to be $25. There's a few nice perks. I mean, it gets you daily beach chairs and beach towels. When my wife and I went, we stayed at a different Hyatt, but they had the same sort of resort fee, and we used those towels and those chairs almost every day. Actually, we ended up putting them in our rental car and keeping two chairs essentially the entire week. It was awesome, so we didn't have to worry about taking those with us or having them. They had them available from the hotel. Uh, it gets you a daily $5 food credit that does not roll over or carry over, so every day you get five bucks, you can use that you know, morning coffee or some morning food or whatever. Get a reusable tote bag, uh, reusable masks, and there's a few other perks you can see, but uh, you know, it's 25 bucks. It's not a great, I'm not gonna say this, you're getting a ton of value from the resort fee, it just, it's a fee. It is what it is, you gotta pay it. So 25 bucks for that. You also are gonna have to pay for parking. And so on their website, it's $45 plus tax for overnight valet parking. I was trying to find uh, how much the self-parking was and I couldn't quite find it. But we do know that for $45 a night, you are going to get valet parking uh, at the hotel. So I did see some things of self-parking maybe as low as 29, but I, I don't quite have that confirmed. But let's just go the max. Let's say it's $45. So right there, you're looking at about $70 plus tax of just fees on top of it. And guys, you can't really get around these, but the majority of this hotel, right, the actual room costs are gonna be comped by these points. So yeah, you got some fees associated. Yeah, you're gonna have a rental car, you got a place to park it. Or, um, maybe you don't have a rental car, but I, I'm telling you, that is a huge mistake. I'll do another video on just all the things we did in Hawaii. You want a rental car and you want to go all over that island. Uh, there is a rental car shortage right now, uh, so I'll talk about this in a second, but maybe that should be the determining factor of when you go is when you're actually able to rent a rental car. But uh, yeah, you're going to have fees. That's just you know, part of the part of the damage that comes along with traveling. But this hotel is gonna cost you a fraction of what it would cost you if you were paying the entire thing out of pocket. So you got eight nights completely free. Um, other fees that you're gonna, other you know, expenses that you're gonna have on a trip, obviously, you know, what you spend on food is gonna be up to you. What you spend on fun is gonna be up to you. But your other biggest price tag, you already know what it is, it's flights. And if you didn't tell from the title of this video, uh, I wanna to talk to you about, is there also a way that I can get my flights covered for free? We already talked about how to get the hotel for free, 100,000 points, Chase Sapphire Preferred, and then you get transfer to Hyatt one-to-one, -one. you get 12 free nights uh, at Hyatt, Hyatt Place, Waikiki Beach. Now I wanna show you how you can get flights for free as well. And guys, I gotta be honest, I'm cheating a little bit because this requires a travel partner. So for me, that's my spouse, that's my wife. Um, she is my player two in this credit card game. And so for our trip, yeah, I'm getting certain cards, she's getting certain cards. We're able to pool our points and really use those together. And so for this to work, yeah, you need a partner. You need someone that you're traveling with. It could be a spouse, it could be a friend, it could be whoever, but you need a travel partner. And I'll give you an example. I have some friends right now where the husband uh, signed up for the Chase Sapphire Preferred and he's gonna get the sign-up bonus, 100,000 points. And then their current strategy, which we're already doing, is he referred his wife using his referral code. She used that link to sign up, which is gonna net them another 20,000 points. Their plan is to hit the bonus pretty easily for her card, so she's gonna get the 100,000 points. And then, be because there's a minimum spend of $4,000 on each of their Chase Sapphire Preferreds, they're at least having to spend $8,000 combined on these two cards. And at minimum, that's gonna be worth a, at least 8,000 Chase points, probably more, because some of it's gonna be used on food and dining and those sort of things on travel. So at minimum, they're looking at 100, 20, 100, eight, that's, what is that? 228,000 Chase points between two travel partners, yeah, they're in the same house and so they are gonna be able to pool 
their points together. So they got a total of 228,000 points. Of course, right off the bat, 96,000 of those points is going to this Hyatt for eight free nights. So what can you get with the remaining 134,000 points? Can you use that amount of points to get to Hawaii on flights? And guys, listen, the answer is yes. Now Chase has a few different airline travel partners. I'm gonna just talk two, I'm gonna talk Southwest, I'm gonna talk United. And so I looked up, I was looking in November, just a few months away, I just randomly picked some dates. And so for me, I was looking at flights from Pittsburgh to Honolulu. And from Southwest, I found in November, round trip for two people, 103,000 points. And so this isn't first class, this isn't any lay down seats, nothing super fancy, but it's gonna get you to Hawaii where you're gonna have eight free nights. And if you're like, well, I don't like Southwest, you want something a little bit higher class. I looked at the exact same dates at United. I was looking like November 8th to, to something. And um, on United, that same, basically that same travel itinerary, 125,000 points. And so if you do all the math, listen, if you got two players, you can pull this off, guys. You can pull off the trip to Hawaii, you can do it. You can get there for free with your flights, you can have your hotels comped. Yes, you're gonna have to have a rental car. Yes, you're gonna have some fees along the way. But listen, it's gonna get you in Hawaii. It's gonna get you the trip of a lifetime. And so this is just one example, I believe, of how you can use this current sign-up bonus of the Chase Sapphire Preferred to really pretty maximum value. And I think there's a lot of creative ways that you could use this. And so I just wanna encourage you again, if you've been considering this or you've been on the fence, like I wanna get a new card, I'm not sure which one to get, I really think this is a phenomenal card to get right now. But again, run to get this card, do not walk, because we do not know when this 100,000 point offer is going to end. It's gonna end sometime, but we're not sure when. So get down into the description, click the link, sign up quick, and uh, tell me, how, how would you use the bonus? Or if you're actually signing up, how are you planning to use the bonus? If you're considering getting the card, go get it right now. Uh, and I hope that, man, you get the trip of a lifetime. And until next time, I'll see ya.